Today we're looking at some Indian head one cent penny coins that are worth a lot of money. So if you guys inherited a coin collection or just come across coins in general, always be on the lookout for these different types of things that can give your Indian head pennies some value. So welcome back to Couch Collectibles. Hope you guys are having an awesome day as always. If you guys are new, feel free to check out all the other coin videos here on the channel. We are uploading every single day showing you guys what to look for on your coins. So as always, let's just hop into this one. All right, starting off here with an 1890 Indian head cent. Now this coin here has a lamination taking place on the obverse of the coin. As we zoom in there, we can see that there at the bottom towards the date. You know, you can look for laminations on other coins as well, not just Indian head cents. You can look for them on Lincoln pennies, on uh, Jefferson nickels, all kinds of different coins, right? Now this coin graded at a Mint State 62 Brown by NGC sold for around $100. Now here is an 1890 Indian head scent uh, that has been double struck, which we can clearly see here in the images displayed. Uh, very obvious type of mint error. Don't need a microscope for anything like this. This coin ended up selling for over $2,100. Uh, one of my favorite types of mint errors there is a double strike. So love that coin there. Graded by PCGS at an AU58. Now here's another uh, different example of a double strike on the 1890 Indian head scent. Uh, graded by NGC at a AU53. This coin sold for around $660. Now here is an 1890 Indian head scent, again double struck, graded by PCGS at an XF45. This coin sold for around $840. Man, those are some nice double strikes there. Now here is an 1890 Indian head scent that has an indent and it's been broad struck. So multiple errors going on here. Uh, very you know noticeable type of mint errors as well. This coin ended up selling for over $515. Graded by PCGS at an AU50. Now here's an 1890 that does not have any coin mistakes, no mint errors here. However, the coin still sold for over $3,800 and that is because of its condition. Because the coin is graded at a Mint State 66 red. So it's very rare to have this coin at a Mint State 66 red grade. That's what gives it all of its value. $3,800 for that coin. Now if you compare that to the same dated coin, an 1890 Indian head cent, graded at an AU58, this coin only sold for around $60. So you go from a $60 coin to a $3,000, $4,000 coin, all because of the grade. So keep that in mind. It has to be a specific grade for each specific coin. It's different for every coin based on the grade populations. Now also on your 1890 Indian head sense, you want to look for a misplaced date. So if we zoom in there, you see that little thing sticking out from the neck there? That is actually the numeral, uh, the top of the numeral one from the number one in the date. Uh, sticking out there. So misplaced date, always be on the lookout for that. Not going to see that unless you have your coin microscope out. I have those available on couchcollectibles.com. Now here's an 1890 Indian head cent that was struck 15% off center. This coin ended up selling for over $335. In 1890, we also have the proof coin, of course, graded at a proof 66 red, graded by NGC. This coin ended up selling for over $2,000. Can't beat that. Now on the 1890, you can also look for a triple die obverse. So tripling there, as we zoom in, you can see that there, very visible uh, tripling there on the lettering of the coin on United States. Uh, so be on the lookout for that with your coin microscopes as well. Here's an example of that coin with the triple die obverse graded by Annex at an AU55. And this coin sold for $275. Now, if you look at this coin, also has the tripling, graded by PCGS at an AU58, three grades higher. This coin ended up selling for $550. Big difference of values there. Now, here's some other Indian head pennies that are worth money. The 1899 Indian head cent. Now, this coin has been double struck 
and the second strike is 10% off center. This is one of my favorite type of mint errors. Uh, this can actually take place on, you know, Lincoln cents and other coins as well, not just older Indian head pennies. Uh, can take place on modern coins as well. So we'll see that really there at the bottom of the coin, how that design has been double struck. I mean, you'll see it on the whole coin, uh, but you can really see the date and the lettering there at the bottom of the coin. And then again, here on the reverse of the coin, we'll see that design double struck as well. So this coin is graded by PCGS, the coin grading company, at an AU58. And because of that mint error, this coin ended up selling for over $745. Can't beat that. Now here is an 1899 Indian head scent that's graded by PCGS at a mint state 63 brown. And it has a mint error that is an uncentered broad strike, which we'll really see there around the rim of the coin. Uh, this coin ended up selling for over $185 as a result of that mint error. Now here's another double struck Indian head scent from 1899, second strike being 5% off center. Uh, so the first one was 10% off center, this one is five. It's graded at an extra fine 40, uh, so a lot lower grade on this one. The other one was graded at an AU58. This is graded by NGC, and this coin ended up selling for over $350. So if you inherit coin collections and things like that, you know, always be on the lookout for mint errors like this. All right, so here is an 1899 Indian head scent that has been double struck. Second strike is 85% off center, which we'll see there at the top of the coin. Uh, this coin ended up selling for over $600 as a result of the mint error. It is graded at an AU58 by NGC. Now here is another mint error from 1899. This coin was struck 5% off center. It does have a small indent as well. This penny ended up selling for over $250. You want to look for on your 1899 pennies or one cent coins is basically a repunch date. So in this case, this is the one and nine is where we want to look, the last nine. So you'll see how the one is over the one. If we look there to the left, zoom in there on that one. And then if we see, uh, if we look at the nine here on the right side, look at the top of the nine there. That's what you want to look for on the 1899. Now there's a couple different examples. So here is an 1899 over an 1899. So every digit is over. So you'll really see it there on the eight and then you'll see it on the insides of the nines as well. Uh, you know, you'll see it a little there on the outside of the one, the top right of the one there. Uh, so, you know, always inspect your coins very closely with your coin microscopes. I have those available on couchcollectibles.com. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Check out the videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I'll see you guys in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear. Thank you.